Little wins, right? Yeah. I did it, and there's Tom. Secret play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Okay, exciting moment here. This is a little ahead of time. I know it's 2014, but we have the Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2015 Plus in this box, we think. But we're going to do a box opening to find out. Very exciting moment here. It's supposed to come with some extra products. They had a real deal. Oh, I've got some tape on your fingers there. So for like uh, $59, you actually get, are supposed to get three products. So what do we got in there? Magic Movie Pro 2015 plus this one does support 64-bit for natively for the first time, and uh, we'll see how that works. Yeah, I always say get the plus version because if you don't get the plus version, you don't get the extra goodies like the extra uh, transitions and effects and, and different things that uh, you, you would normally get. Uh, the ones that are sold in the stores are usually not the plus version. So you some, sometimes just have to order it directly from Magix and it'll say plus right on there. So it's going to say plus right on the front of the box, right in that area. If it doesn't have that plus, you're not going to get the extra goodies. And it doesn't cost much more. Like I said, the whole package with all three of the products we're going to show you comes for, well, I got it for $59, so it's somewhere in that range. So here's a closer look at... Uh, MAP 2015 Plus. They've got a more enhanced interface. It's easier to see now. The timeline's down here and here's the toolbar. Icons are bigger, easier to see, and uh, you can move the windows around individually as usual. In the effects tab, under video effects, they've added lens correction. I noticed that was new, but all the other things are there. Uh, movement effects, we have the normal stuff. I think there might be some new templates. Uh, audio effects is the same and then you have design elements which right here they have some good stuff in there if you get the plus version so here's a section that we can use uh, lens correction and we select the uh, object and it has some fisheye in it just move the lens button or slider until it looks about right and then you're done now in addition to uh, lens correction I also like the new uh, multicam mode They've now added four tracks instead of just two, so you can have four simultaneous videos and select between the different camera angles, these four camera angles, on the fly while you're making your video. This becomes very handy at times. Another feature I liked is the new audio volume slider that they added. It used to be you couldn't see the audio volume uh, slider too well, now they've made it large, you can see what the volume number is, and I really like that. It's very handy. So that's some new features I just noticed. Okay, what's next in the box? Okay. Music Maker Soundtrack Edition. So, and uh, I guess this would be 2015. I don't know. It doesn't have a, really a version name on it. So, but... I uh, already tried the uh, older version of it, uh, version 15 of this. Mm -hmm. It was okay. I mean, I didn't like it as much as I used to uh, some other stuff, but we'll see how this one does eventually, I guess. Okay. So here's what that looks like. This is the Music Maker Soundtrack Edition box, and you can kind of see it's got a timeline too for your audio down here and whatnot. Uh, it's pretty cool. This is the back of the box. Produce your own movie soundtracks. So that sounds pretty exciting. So here's a closer look at uh, Magic Music Maker Soundtrack Edition. And you can see it's basically a loop player and sequencer and arranger. So you can arrange instruments and different sounds, different clips, into an entire song that you can use with your movies as a soundtrack. It looks pretty robust and uh, they must have added some new features to it because it looks better than it used to be and uh, I think this is going to be useful for making some soundtracks for the movies. So, uh... What's the last thing in the box? Video and Slideshow Sound Archive 8. 
And I'm kind of excited about this because it supposedly has a bunch of sounds and music and things like that that you can use to enhance your videos and you know put nice background music or maybe a song in the background and it's spo supposed to be licensed and royalty free so hopefully YouTube will allow it um, we're going to give that a try and see how that works so you get all three products for one money and it seems like a pretty good deal and that's on uh, magics.com and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make another movie on uh, I've done this before on an older version, but I think we're going to go ahead and do another movie for beginners on how to make a complete movie with Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2015 Plus. Don't forget the plus. So there you go. You have any further comments, John? No, we'll get to that in a later video. Just see you on the tube, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> any comments you want, just put them under the video. And we'll catch you later. Take your plate.